a lot of people ask what went wrong and seriously gamers got no clue we got no clue matter of fact even our dogs don't have clues right even my dog is like okay this is why i bite people simply put like this is exactly where we at and you're not gonna believe this following story stellar blade is now one of the highest rated games on sony ps5 report says oh, yeah shit. and you see the walkies are mad they really are mad a woman in dragon's dogma made by japanese dev you can see a clear difference woman in fable made by an american dev <laughs> American dev, guys, American dev. So which way? Like the video if you want a non-stunning and brave characters like Dragon's Dogma and Eve. Dislike the video if you want to see Abby Cheeks getting pounded in, in Last of Us or in Last of Us 3 as well. Yeah, I, I don't know where you at, guys. I, how would I know, right? You would have to tell me which one you want, but roll this, Vermont, check this out. we watched Blade, the game that was being heralded as a middle finger to the Western gaming industry. For yeah. us, we watched as the progressives vilified Stellar Blade while championing other games with Full nudity in sex. Yeah, 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 I cannot believe. Whoa, bro. Whoa. Stop with that. Yeah, that's true, though. In Baldur's Gate 3, there was human on bear action. What? What? In Last of Us 2, you got Abyzilla cheeks getting pounded in 4K. His his cheeks were pounded. His ass cheeks were clapped as well. Like, ta, 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 ta. Yeah. You guys gonna have that, but brother, you, brother, you, with Eve, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. And you got this, I mean, whoever made this collage, bro, you're gonna get minus one billion ESG right Look now. Look out, sexy alert. Let me ride in your wheelchair, daddy. Wait for the it. The gaming journalists cried out in unison. Stellar Blade had great marketing, telling us that the game will be uncensored, raw, and uh -oh. uncut. Yeah! around the world and it had a decent demo to boot we were lulled into a false sense of security trouble started on april 24th oh, when the no. review embargo dropped <gasps> and the hard r lame controversy also dropped stellar blade it's absolutely insane to me that how big of a pull some of these walkies have everybody gamers praising the game praising the game everybody's like yeah bro this is the game this is the game this is the game don't censor it don't censor it do not cut her ponytail we want to see stellar blade right and some couple of walkies comes on they say this is whack this is whack you know people gamers ig and employee one employee says that if gamers play this they're gonna end up beating their wife up what <laughs> you crazy what the hell and, and then the ign employee says that well you know real women are gonna delete themselves after seeing eve after they play this game what are we talking it, 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 it's crazy how big of a pull some of those uh, people have. It's crazy. Made embargo is up, so I can finally show you the hard R shot. Graffiti, laugh my ass off. Now, now to me, I, I've said it previously, like them censoring this stuff and like some other like smaller stuff, that's not a big deal. The big deal is the principle, and the big deal is also the fact that they said that they're not gonna censor the game, and they they censor it, and they it's one of those things, right? You give them your finger, they take they they want then. They want to then take your entire hand you give them an inch they take a mile that's where it's at it's not necessarily about them changing this like little uh piece of asset in the game it's not even about that i wonder how long this will take to get patched out mm. are you talking like n-word hard r what no okay i'm pretty sure that's how people use that term no this was a nothing burger of a reused asset being put in the wrong place but games journalists acted as if it was a major issue. Sony removing Stellar Blade's unintentional N-word re reference. What? That's the title? <laughs> oh. Game <laughs> journalist. Sony says Stellar Blade art referencing racist language Rest. was unintentional. We'll be patched out. Well, thank God. If any of my black homies are listening, were you offended by offended by this? Genuinely, though. I'm a brown man. I'm kind of like a hybrid, though. But still, like, yeah, I want to listen from my black homies as well. See? Because last time I read comments from a lot of you fellows out there, and a lot of, a lot of you were like, Brad, this was a nothing burger as well. Uh, and nobody was mad. No genuine gamer was no no gamer was mad. It just happens to be like, this is why I'm saying, like, these Wokies got so much pull. It's insane. Thousands, millions of gamers are saying, hey man, we love the game, we love the game, don't, don't censor it, hey, it's good, bro, it is good, 10 out of 10, go make Eve, uh, not stunning brave, not stunning brave, but you can make, like, the good kind of stunning brave, not this stunning brave, bull squash, but, okay, 
you know what? She is stunning as is. You don't even have to change a damn thing about it. We like the way she is. She is stunning. The gameplay is fun. The game is fire, dog. Don't change it. And guess what? Somebody cries and they're like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna change it. We're gonna the change hard R literally triggered me so bad that I almost pissed myself and then I shot my pampers. <laughs> I barely made it to the furry convention in time. Lyle no, pointed out how no. all the journals had the same racist concerns within 30 minutes of going live of each other for the review embargo. Weird how the hard graffiti, meanwhile, can be found numerous areas Wait throughout the it. game per IGN and the juxtaposition was noticed so fast. It's almost as if there's some sort of slack chat. And it was blocked by Lance. It's like I always say. Men named Lance are always up to some gay shit. <laughs> Lyle immediately fired back with probably one of the great- What? Hey, yo, no, no, no. <laughs> and, and you got Bumble Club? Greatest catchphrases I've heard all year. Bumble Eat my friend. Most people would write this off as conspiracy theories or coincidences. But yeah. the last four years of America have proven to me that a lot of conspiracy theories were proven to be right. The yep. journalist on yep. Twitter yep. wanted yep. to dunk. There's a saying, there's a saying, yesterday's uh, or today's conspiracy is tomorrow's truth. And guys, uh, real quick, before we get uh, down to the content here, I want to say, if you have Instagram, I would love to have you on Instagram as well. Uh, if, you, if you got Twitter, this is where I'm trying to be most active as well outside of YouTube. So definitely check it out. Links are always in the description. I right, let's get back down to the content now. Boo boo, get ready for the climax. The roll on Stellar Blade so bad that they pretended that they all loved Bayonetta all of a sudden. And I remember when that game came out. My God, it was so problematic. I couldn't keep my hand out of my pants. There is a subtle but important distinction between empowering sexuality a la Bayonetta and the male gaze, ass, and titties sexuality. Is that what the hell she wrote? I think it is. Who cares? Because this person thinks, oh my God. Of course, Sony had to patch this out of the game for fear of upsetting white liberals, journalists, and it's or in black people on Twitter who think that- It is insane though. It's insane. Like, everybody, all the gamers that you're gonna make this game for, they got no problem. Every gamer praising the game. Praising the game. Some of the non gamers, they come out and you're all of a sudden, you're like, okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend the knee. I, I mean, somebody once said, gamers are not the target audience for games. Bruh. Yeah. And, and they, and they took that literally. They took that literally. That America is more racist than it's ever been. When I say they, I mean Sony. They are the one that censored it, right? But with this patch, other changes came about. The bunny suit got nerfed. Arguably no. the cutest suit she has in the game. You have to beat the game first to get it. <sighs> I wouldn't know. I've only played an hour. But this is typical Sony. That is crazy. So yeah, okay, on YouTube, I get it. The age restricted that. I believe some videos, some not. But some videos were also like, I remember like age restricted if you were showing the scene. Uh, understandably, like, you know, his cheeks were pounded in 4K. So <laughs> this is for real. I had received some comments in my last video. You're not going to, you guys not going to believe it. I did receive comments from some of you fellas, out, understandably. Understandably, respectfully, I get that, right? Because nobody, oh my god. So yeah, a real story based on true events. I, I got this comment uh, yesterday, right? I read it on my last video and the guy was like, bro, like, uh, what game is that from? Is that even real? And I went ahead and I replied. I was like, yeah, bro, it is real. It's from Last of Us 2. Yeah, yeah, it is real. It is real and Sony allowed it. Yeah, I mean, it came from Naughty Dog. I love Naughty Dog as a studio, but but like, damn, they really did do that, bro. So I don't know, bro, like what the hell is going on? I don't even know, bro. When it comes to anything sexuality involving women, hell, Nintendo has more edge in it. Last of Us 1, masterpiece. Last of Us 2, bruh. Now, Gore was also cut bruh. from the game demo, which made no sense, because it was pretty cool to rip a monster in half and be showered in blood. <sighs> Oh well. But that wasn't the end of it. Other revealing outfits that made me feel very frisky inside got puritanized as well. When Sony moved its head offices to California, I knew it was over. No. The good times were done. I got nothing oh, for it, man. man. It's just just a dark age of gaming. Asia's yeah. laughing at us over this. Yeah, you know it's crazy when 
South Korea. Yeah, we did a video on it not long ago where a South Korean news channel were just like literally laughing at like all of us here in the West, America, Canada, wherever you are. Yeah, America, Canada, basically, literally, even uh, some parts of Europe are, are getting this disease as well. So yeah, it, it's just insane, bro. Holy crap. Like, <laughs> what is going on? And they're laughing at us. They're clowning on us, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, rightfully, I guess. Go for it. Controversy on Stellar Blade. Or the as Perma Band right has said herself. So, a viral meme going around in Taiwan and Hong Kong. If you only knew how often Taiwan laughs at us, dude, you have no idea. Looks like the fake Western controversy over Stellar Blade made such a huge stink that Chinese have started mocking them. All right, so practically, the whole of East Asia is laughing now. Not really anything new. They got a load of our military. For some reason, some of our generals don't need tampons, but they have them anyway. That's all I can say. Stop them! Look at those meat racks. Yuba, booba, booba. Now you might say that this game is offensive to women. Well, here's some video of women uh -oh. enjoying Stellar Blade on Twitch. Let's go! Uh oh. Oh, yes. This way to the boat. Oh, yes. I, uh. I'll I can see a whole bunch of reasons why one might enjoy this game. Oh, this is fun! Ooh, look at the hair! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that! Don't do that! They're gonna cut her ponytail next. <laughs> They're gonna censor her ponytail. And, and you're not gonna believe it. Somebody was apparently mad about that long of a ponytail. Bruh. Why? 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 Yelsing is mad over, like, stuff that you don't even need to be mad about. And if I'm not mistaken, the dev could have released the game a year early, but he decided to take his time, right? Shout out to him. And they took, like, an, a year extra to make sure, because hair, doing hair in the game is one of the hardest thing ever, right? That's what I heard. I'm not a game dev, but that's, uh, 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 you know, that's what I've heard, literally. That's what I always hear, right? Could be wrong, but that's what I hear all the time, that hair is always is the, the hardest thing to do. And uh, he wanted to nail it, and he did nail it. He did nail it. I, I, just, I, I just hope that they don't nerf it in the next game, because... Stellar Blade 2 is gonna happen, guys, just like The Last of Us 2. The yeah, and I do not want to see Abyzilla coming in Stellar Blade 2 and just like my fucking killing even the game. I don't want to see that, bro. Yo, what are her shoes? Is this girl fighting in heels? Boom! So far, this is honestly better than I expected. Try again, Puritan! I'm of two schools of thought on this one. One, I don't really care. But. I don't care about much outside of my little dog. Yeah. Two. Th this is why I bite people. <laughs> this is why I bite people, guys. On the other hand, people paid for one thing and were bait and switched with this patch. It reminds me of when I ordered Taco Bell recently for the first time in ages. And I got a trash meal that wasn't what I paid for. So yep. I'm all for this movement. How dare you sell me a beef taco with three little tiny pieces of chicken, Actual some order. lettuce, and a whole shit ton of- Okay, I'm convinced that you received a bad order and, and you're here to just, uh, you know, complain about your bad Taco Bell experience. I get that, yeah. Jeez, you little dick bags. When I, open, when I open my Taco Bell bag and it's not what I ordered, yeah. <laughs> this is something else. Screw you, Taco Bell. Of course, Twitter prods had to dunk on people upset with the Stellar Blade patch. God forbid you get upset with the company in 2024. They have your best interest in mind, you coomer. Am I understanding this correctly? Yes, but actually no. Thank you, Adam Ellis. Notice how... This character has a red hat. So if you like this game, and then they censored and upset you, you must be a MAGA supporter. <laughs> and stupid. Holy shit, this game looks good. Wow. Well, Adam got destroyed in the reply, so no. he locked down his Twitter like a- You guys really did that to Adam? And now he has to make his uh, Twitter bunker and hide in that Twitter bunker? Damn, man, come on, guys. Oh. Come on, man. Come on, man. Damn, the guy got like 1 million followers. So, yo, can I brother get like two followers on, on Twitter as well, man? I would appreciate it, man. Let me shinish him. Uh, yeah, I would definitely love to. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, no, no, shy, no, shy is, uh, I cannot say the word on YouTube. No, she, Sherlock. Th this is why people, uh, uh, yeah, I, I guess this kind of answers my question, right? People 
with lots of followers, people that have a voice, they are the ones that are controlling it. And it happens to be that people like Adam uh, have that much that much voice and Sony listen to uh, people like that. They, they surely want the game censored and they surely want... Uh, I mean, they clowned on the game. They hated the game. They, they don't even like gamers, so... Makes sense. Although I don't, I don't know much about Adam, so maybe he's not. Maybe he's a gamer, and that's fine. But uh, there have been so many people that, so many journalists that are fake wannabe journalists that don't even play games, that don't even care about games, that hate gamers, uh, and they have the the biggest pull. You feel what I'm saying? So I mean, no, uh, yeah, no wonder why gaming is going down the toilet right now. They don't listen to their audience. They don't listen to gamers. This is why I said gamers are not the target audience for games. Yeah, go figure. A little bitch. Sayonara! People then began altering his meme to truly fit the modern narrative. And it's pretty much on the Oh, uh, yeah, I see. I see what he did. I see what this guy... Yeah. Check. Yeah, so this is how Eve was in the beginning. And this... Uh, and they made... <laughs> yeah, now it's... Yeah, bruh. It, it ain't even about bruh. that, bruh. Like, it ain't even about that. Grums launched the free Stellar Blade hashtag. Uh-oh. And a change.org petition. That will change nothing. 58. The only thing this will do Holy. is give the prog something to meme on. Let's name a time when change.org petitions actually did something to change something. Don't mm. worry. I'll wait. Well, anyway, as I stated, the progs got wind of this and started to mobilize by sending Grums a threat. 20K to anyone that makes... This dip. And right now it's like 50k. Somebody got it up to 50k. You got 20k. Uh, there's a chick that gave uh, him like 30k and now 50k. What? Why are we talking about this is happening all because of a video game opinion? Just because Grums is like, do not censor the any game like that? Right? Finally, we're getting a non-woke game and it's not getting censored? <gasps> oh my god, the fear, right? No, how, how can gamers play a non-woke game for the first time in years, in years, years. And yeah, they're mad. They want this game to be woke as well. And I guess they won the battle of censoring the game, I guess. Uh, yeah, right? But people are loving the game, mind you. Like, finish Stellar Blade after 40 hours thoughts. The gameplay just kept getting better and better. Oh, and it was the highlight of the game. Very good graphics, no glitches at all, and runs good. <laughs> Which should be the basic, basic feature for any game launching, right? But people are happy with that. Uh, yeah, right? A and I'm not saying that Stellar Blade is bad or anything like that. People are happy, that's good. No glitches, that's amazing. But point that I'm trying to make here is that this should be the bare minimum dog for any game but now we're praising and i don't blame this i don't blame this guy because how many times we have seen games come out <laughs> incomplete at launch full of bugs but the store always works the bbc bundles always are purchasable you can always purchase the call of duty bbc bundles the call of duty um 80 dollars 100 dollars microtransactions they never have any bugs whatsoever and all full, full full of bugs and glitches right and never runs good but the fact that this game runs good no glitches it's stick it sticks out like a sore thumb and this is why brother is kind of saying that yeah bro like no glitches and runs good the story is just okay which is something that i heard from other people as well so i feel like that's genuine writing makes no sense sometimes in my opinion ost is incredible i can vouch finish a mind game i like the side stories a lot need an update so you can keep track of more collectibles if you want to do 100 grace bot boss fights all areas need a mini map and better fast travel it's weird how it works do you agree with that or disagree let me know New Game Plus carries over everything, it seems. Love that overall uh, great first console game. I really hope we get a sequel. I think we're going to get a sequel. I just hope that Abbyzilla do not come out of the, 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 the portal and kills Eve, though. Like, that's Disappear. The only thing I uh, I very progressive of you, Mr. Tone Man. A documentary against yeah. violence and bigotry. Why don't you stop the Asian hate? Oh, oh no. Wait, oh, what? Oh, my God. No! What? How dare you kill sexy hot Asian women? Here we go! High five! Cool! Uh, here's one from my boy Eric. This is actually one of my favorite attempts to dunk on people who like Stellar Blade and got upset with this. Let daddy zoom in. Oh, you little slut. You may as well say, sign this if you never had a woman. But then we catch him. Yet again. That OnlyFans video was hot, hot, hot. I'm subbing. Bro, you got caught in 16K. To hell with 4K. At the end of the day, this is our culture war. Ultimately meaningless and pathetic. 
yep. much like our lives at times. Yep. A few pixels on the screen that have yep. been deemed evil because it isn't safe horny. For those yep. who don't know, safe horny is anything gay or just basically not heterosexual. It's also not the game that the game's media has deemed to be acceptable wonderful and progressive we live in an age where consumerism and the never-ending war against guys check out this video on the screen man what is going on in gaming right like so this happened recently there's a video clip in this one yeah i i, I don't know if i should tease it anymore i don't want to give the plot away check this video out on the left this video is on my second channel yeah second channel guys second channel check it out and i'll see you right there